Okay, so it's early morning. I'm on a par three course at the back of four golf in Chester. Why am I here? I'm practicing 100 yard pitching wedge shots because I've had a bout of that dreaded thing. I don't even like saying it. You know the word I'm gonna say. No, in fact, I'm not gonna say it. We're gonna mention the word. It's gonna be difficult to do a video about it without mentioning the word, but I'll try my very best. Anyway, last few weeks, it's been pretty grim. You'll notice that from the videos that I've done, the last man versus golf hole challenge, because of the way these are sort of pre-recorded, was two weeks ago. And in the last month, I've had a bout of, I'm gonna to have to say this word, the shanks, because I'm gonna to struggle to avoid it throughout the video. And it's an absolute killer in your game. Now, fortunately, I said about because a bout, not about, of the shanks, because it seems to be that I've cured it. And I say that with fingers crossed because um, I'm still very tentative and I'm here this morning practicing. I'm going to hit a few wedge shots here now. It's a little bit chilly to be honest with you this morning after uh, a real nice spell of uh, weather in the UK, but. I'll finish off here and I will take it indoors. I'll have a little bit of a further chat and I'll ask the opinions of a few experts on this one. Well, that's one more wedge shot that isn't shanked and it's one more wedge shot to get in a little bit more confidence back because I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this video and what's happened to me over the past three or four weeks. And it really is going back that far because uh, probably about four weeks ago, maybe six, seven, eight rounds ago, uh, I hit one shank in a round of 18 holes of golf with a pitching wedge. Never thought no more of it. Moved on, finished the round, no detrimental effect. I did that again for probably the next two rounds where I'd throw in one shank with a short iron and um, never thought a great deal of it then, to be quite honest with you. A bit annoyed, obviously, that it happened, but for the next two rounds, they started to creep in, so I'd hit two shanks per round, and I was starting to get a little bit concerned as to why this was happening. And then 10 days ago, I played in a four ball match, played the first six holes really, really well, to be fair, and it's probably worth pointing out now that my confidence at this stage was quite high. I'd played some decent golf for three months, and uh, six holes in, really, really good, <clears throat> nothing wrong. Drove a ball into a fairway, 130 yards out, grabbed up a pitching wedge, and I hit a shank straight right out of bounds. And then proceeded to drop a ball and hit another shank straight right and out of bounds. During that 18 holes of golf, I then continued to hit probably another, what, four or five shanks in total from start to finish, from the six hole onwards. And the biggest thing is the impact that it has on your mentality because all the confidence that I'd built over three months of playing decent golf was absolutely evaporated in the space of a very short period of time. Every iron that I stood over from the 6th through to the 18th, I felt sick. I just, the only thing that is in my mind is please do not shank this golf ball. And it has a complete it's almost one of the things that causes the shank in terms of what I think it does in terms of the delivery of the club head. It almost worsens that because of this negative attitude that you've got towards releasing the club head and you become a little bit more hesitant, even more um, restrictive in your movements. So it, it, things go from bad to worse, if you like. At the moment, I'm gonna say that I haven't got that killer disease right now. At least I hope so. Been a few rounds since, and I seem to have self-diagnosed what my problem was and explain how I see it, how I thought where the shank came from from me, and how I stopped doing it. But that's from my perspective, and I'm very much like I said, I'm the average golfer. I'm not an expert on this, and I'm going to ask a couple of people who work at Four Golf, a bit better qualified than me, to explain quite why these things happen because they're an absolute killer. But like I said. It's the way it kills you in terms of your mentality. I've heard lots of stories over the last few weeks about people who've even stopped playing the game because they just cannot cure it. And it is absolutely horrible. It's a horrible, horrible feeling. Right, so I've just told you what I think the problem was. And like I said, fingers crossed, seems to have been eradicated from my game, but I've now got the expert in. I'm gonna get the expert opinion. Steve from 4Golf, 
welcome to the channel mate first of all you're always yeah. in the back gaffer in the back there but i need to know or the viewers need to know what is the what do you think is the cause of this disease it's horrible isn't it it is it is i think the the biggest misconception for most golfers is they don't know what causes it yeah they're convinced it's an open club face which i've just said yeah like it, it is yeah and quite often it's not okay we tend to find that the club path is moving from out to in with a closing club face yeah that's offering the shank okay so obviously the reason it repeats itself is most golfers are thinking my club face is open because it's shot right yeah i'll close it even more hence more shanks right so what we try and try and get the golfer so, to so do. in some ways a bit because i thought my I, I thought that my problem was yeah I've been hitting a bit of order, tending to a bit of a, a neutral delivery yeah. of club face. Yeah. But I've also got a problem I sort of go over the top, don't I, with the top of my Slightly. swing. Yes. yes. Now that's probably potentially a bit of a cause of it is what you're saying. It is. Yeah, the out to in is definitely not good. An out to in with a slightly closed club face, which obviously makes it go left. As you close which that club face. Yes, yeah, so as you close it more, the hosel becomes what you're offering the ball yeah yeah and obviously that's a shank yeah so your cure for that would be i'll it's gone right so i need to close the club face even more yeah and that actually makes the, sh the hosel more prevalent to the yeah. golf ball hence more shanks right so what we try and get you to do what we will try and get you to do is to try and change your swing path from an in to out as opposed to out to in with just your normal release just your normal swing but we're going to focus on the swing path so my my older swing, and I haven't got a swing, don't forget, I'm uh, pretty much average, as you know, but my, in my head, my yeah. old swing, any criticism would have been, I used to, I come very flat on the uh, back swing. Yeah. Um, but really, I need to deliver on that sort of inside plane, whereas I'm just going still. Absolutely. Pe over people top. think if they're flat on the back swing, they'll be flat on the follow through. The opposite's probably true. Yeah. They'll have a little bit of a loop. The right hand tends to right. take over, and that gets you out to it. So my changes that I've made in my head have yeah. actually, in the, as it's transpired over three months, have yeah. ended up being uh, slightly negative, haven't they? And probably a slight Potentially, cordial. and you will find it if you keep getting shanks now and again. Yeah. And if they st still keep popping into your game, Don't the reality that. is, Don't you know, that. you probably haven't cured it. No. So what I think we should do is just work on your path and normal delivery of the club okay. and you'll see a you should see a difference so before we put the uh, before we switch the camera on we talked about a, a drill with a club um a head cover mm -hmm. which concentrates the mind on basically delivering the club head in an impact basically if you hit the uh, if you hit the head cover then potentially we're going the swing path has gone slightly again it has, the top. yes so i'll switch the camera yeah we'll put the head cover down yeah. and just explain that i'll explain what we're doing with the head cover absolutely all right Excuse yeah me. yeah right so club head uh sorry head cover in position all ready to go explain the drill mate what am i doing yeah. your problem in my opinion is that the club base is traveling from out to in yeah so the swing path is traveling from out to in with the head cover there the focus in the focus is to change the swing path if you're out to in you will actually hit that head cover yeah. So obviously, I want you not to hit the head cover. So if so I was my swing when I come over the top, you would you would strike the head cover down before this. the ball. Yeah. Okay, and that would tell us that you're going out to win. Okay. So all I want you to do is focus on not hitting the head cover, stand to the ball as you would normally, yeah. and just put your normal swing on it. Okay. What this will ensure is that we change the path from in to out. It's come much more inside. Absolutely. Again. And don't worry about release of the club. Just be released normally. I don't need to over exaggerate anything. So just put your normal swing on it and focus on that swing path. There you go. And straight away, it's a very neutral ball yeah, fly. Yeah. You know, no hint of a shank, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And we're not going to shank from this position. No. So we'll hit another one. Can you, are you allowed to take a head cover out on the course? Uh, <laughs> not really. No, it's a great practice drill. It is a good and drill. And all we're it? trying to do is get you used to the feeling of that's Back the path inside, of the club. Yeah. And that's a super strike, great flight. Lovely golf shot. Very neutral ball flight, and you can play golf with that. You can aim at any flight. Well, it's a good little drill. I mean, first and foremost, uh, irrelevant of shanks, really, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice little drill, drill because absolutely. all of a sudden uh, I was striking the ball there, a nice couple of wedges, and I tried it off camera. And again, it does 
get the uh, the old the mindset yeah about like I said delivering that book inside and I think for me having spoken to you now it has been that exaggeration of getting that putty shot I've been coming over the top thinking I'm delivering a club face open yeah maybe we tend to find with a lot of DIY fixes you know, yeah. try and work it out yes or if I do this if I do that this will happen the reality is it's, it just doesn't happen that way no. you know the swing fundamentals are never change no. so they really should be stuck with because they do work they're proven well I hope that it's helped me I mean like I said more than happy with that as I said at the beginning of the video I've stopped doing it and I hope that continues to be the case that's a great little drill if any of you are out there have struggled with it and uh, I really do feel a lot of pity for you it's a horrible thing um, try that drill see if it works thanks to Steve big thing is comments down below on this one because I've got a feeling there might be a few is have you ever experienced a period where you've had this horrible thing appear in your game um, do you know of anybody else because I've heard some right horror stories over the well, last few weeks. People have stopped playing. Yeah, because it is of it. really. Yeah, it's like a disease. But that's because they don't know what's causing it now, and therefore their fixes are making it worse yeah. rather than making it better. So the, the, probably it. the best advice is, I mean, that's a great drill. Yeah. But it's always the same. Is it's always go, go and see a pro in it. Absolutely. Go and see a pro. You know, that's what they're there for. They know yeah. what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. You know, don't try and fix it yourself. No. You wouldn't try and fix your own car if you didn't know what you were doing. No. In the engine bay, would you? There you go. Final words of wisdom from Steve. Thanks, Thanks for that, mate. Appreciate You're it. Um, so comments down below, like the video, um, hit that like button and subscribe if you don't already and if not I'll see you soon, I'll go and practice a few more of these drills I think and hopefully that's the end of the shanks.